shadow of horror is arisen in eternity, unknown, unprolific, self-closed, all repelling. Some said it is your risen. And Los wept when your risen was rent from his side. and all things in eternity apart from creation which was an act of mercy wide astray, shut in the narrow doleful form, creeping in reptile flesh. Upon the bosom of the ground, the eye of man, a little narrow orb, scarcely beholding the great light. The ear, a little shell, comprehending only discord and harmony. The tongue a little moisture fills and its cries are faintly heard. Then brings forth moral virtue, the cruel virgin Babylon. Can such an eye judge of the stars? Can such an ear judge of the pure melodious harp struck by a hand divine? Can such closed nostrils feel a joy? Can such a tongue take in aught but the vegetable ratio? Can such gross lips perceive? They pallid turn and tremble at every wind.
The tigers of wrath are wiser than the horses of instruction. are ended. The fiery joy that your risen perverted to ten commands, that stony law I stamp to dust. to sweet delight, some are born to endless night. set another before you. The sea of time and space beat round in mighty waves. And as a polypus that vegetates beneath the sea, the limbs of man vegetated in monstrous forms of death. What seems to be is to those to whom it seems to be. And is productive of the most dreadful consequences.
we live as one, for contracting our infinite senses, we behold multitude, or expanding, we behold as one, as one the universal family. Peacock is the glory of God. is this, that everything has its own vortex, and when once a traveler through eternity has passed that vortex, he perceives it roll backward behind his path into a glow of itself, enfolding like a sun, or like a moon, or like a universe of starry majesty. Mm -hmm. 